Hey everyone, it's me, Anthony Medensis. So today, oh, for starters, this video is going to have to be marked as for kids because this is technically a doll made for kids. If you want to like leave a comment or whatever, I have several video, I have many videos on my channel that are not marked made for kids and just let me know that you're commenting on this video. I don't know, but leave a like because I can't get comments and comments really do help the videos. Anyway, um, I needed to go to Walmart today to get envelopes to ship a bunch of things. So um, just went and took a gander at the kids section because, or the toy section because last time I was at Walmart, they had three different LOL dolls on clearance and they're all ones that I'm missing. Um, and I had a little bit of extra money. So I was like, I'm gonna go check. Um, they only had one of the three, but thankfully they did have this one. So I paid $20 for this one and she retails for 35. So I think that's a good deal. Um, I'm going to be selling the baby as well, so if she's $10, then I will have gotten this doll for $10, so that'll be great. Still no Cave Club. Still no sign of Cave Club. Like, I'm sorry I'm opening only LOL dolls. They're just the only dolls in my store. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. This is, like, a pretty old doll, so I'm not gonna show you the box and stuff, because you've already seen it, certainly. And my first, um, OMG doll was actually, um, Snowlicious, which is from this set. So, I am used to this whole shebang already. So I got, sorry, I, didn't, I don't even think I said, I got Cosmic Nova. She was actually my least favorite LOL when, um, like before. So I definitely didn't think I was going to get her, but I've seen so many pictures of her online. I just find her absolutely beautiful now. And I actually like her outfit and stuff now. So we're chill. She can come home with me. Um, and these boxes are really cool. So you have this like hinged turning thing and then on this side you have all the accessories and the little sister and stuff just let me get in there and then you also have like this fur thing i don't know these boxes are cool it's a shame i think they overstocked characters like cosmic that nobody really i mean people did want her but um nobody wanted her more than they wanted all the other characters so snowlicious was sold out everywhere 24 karat is sold out everywhere i rarely see dolly on the shelf but sometimes i do and then cosmic is always just an absolute overstock on the shelf okay so we've got this little instruction booklet which interestingly is snowlicious um and then her little dressing room i actually think these are better play sets than the other ones just they have more going on for them i hope this one came with the snow my snowlicious didn't come with the snow unless this is it but i'm pretty sure it's actually supposed to come with like fluffy snow or something i don't know I think that was only one wave of them. Okay, I don't exactly know how to open this. Okay, it says pull here. Oh, you're supposed to like, let it do a spin thing. And then like, I don't know, doesn't matter. You've seen somebody much more competent open it. Um, and then we're just gonna slide her out of here. Oh yeah, there's the snow, I got the snow. Awesome. I think, maybe, never mind, that's the hat. <laughs> um, oh, she doesn't have a real mirror like the other ones do. That's interesting. Not that I care. <laughs> and then this is the little dressing room. So this one actually has like extra play value. Like I like this box. This is a better box, but I don't keep the boxes anyway. I just keep the, the art of the doll. And then I'll probably keep this thing and this these little styrofoam balls because I don't want those in the ocean. So I'll just hoard them, I guess. Um, And it looks like I got a perfect cosmic, thankfully. I was a little bit worried um, because the box looked a little bit old. So I was thinking maybe she'd been returned or something, but she looks absolutely perfect her hair is gorgeous and her face seems to be flawless there's like a scratch right here in her eye but it's not a big deal and her yeah she's great her under outfit is very interesting all right so first as always i'm gonna go into this section um sorry hang on so first this bag is just like a grid pattern with some sparkles. I really like this one. And then we have her skirt and it has a little fringe at the bottom. I'm a he I'm like really not a fan of fringe. So that's probably the main reason I didn't like her originally. But I've come around. So it's like even if I wouldn't wear fringe and I don't like fringe, it still looks great on the doll. Um, this is a black and purple and blue paisley. This is really pretty. Um, let's get it out of here. This is the jacket, it looks like. This is a longer bag than it needs to be. But it'll look super cute. I'm planning to make a dollhouse when I move into my house, if I can. Like, make one, not buy one. And I would. it would be really cool to have the LOL hangers up, you know? This jacket's really cool. I love faux fur. This is really fun. Um, and it's actually super soft, like it's it's definitely lower quality of faux fur than some that you felt, but it's still higher quality of faux fur than 
what I've seen in other dolls, and I love the tinsel. Um, and then the little sister who, um, I'm probably just gonna not open her, I'm just gonna kind of cut off this space and then just sell her on eBay. I thought about keeping the little sisters because I think it's cute to have the little sister that goes to the big sister, but um, I'm just not a big fan of baby dolls specifically, they just don't do anything for me. Um, I think LOL dolls specifically are really cool designed and I do like them. Um, I just think it would go in a bin and I would never touch it again. Like, I would never take pictures of it. I would never hold it in my hands. I shouldn't have to rationalize selling something, but, um, just explaining myself, you know. But she will assuredly find a nice home. And I do actually kind of like the LOL JK dolls, so if I- if I must have a little sister for every single one of my LOLs, or <laughs> OMGs, if I must have a little sister, I would go for those, because they're actually making more. Like, I saw, I think, Busy BB had a JK as well. So that's fun. Alright, so we've got the Winter Disco special ones. I really like the shoe boxes and the hat boxes, although I, once I get to my new house and, like, go through all my doll stuff, I'm going to realize how many of these containers I have, and maybe I won't like them as much anymore. <laughs> um, but let's see what's in here. We have... Her sunglasses. Y'all know I don't like doll sunglasses. Um, a belt, I think? I hate plastic belts. They never work. Um, this little disco ball purse, which I feel like Roller Girl had that too, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, this little bolo tie. Oh my god, I love that. Um, and then these little Wi-Fi earrings, which are very fun. Now let's put that back. And here is the little shoebox, um, and it says Silver Diamante. I love these. And then, um, I never remember to read them, but I do know it's there. It says Zoom 1, Zoom 2, Girl 3. I don't really know what that's referring to, but, like, the barcode says something special. And she is size six and a half, just like the rest. Now... Oh, hello. Are these spurs? Oh my god, that's so cute. She's got spurs. Love that. She's from Texas. Oh my god, the glitter boots! I love glitter. This is awesome. Oh, I love that. Wow. And I love that, I really respect that MGA wrapped them up like this, so that the glitter wouldn't rub on each other when it was packaged, so that your doll wouldn't have, like, patchy boots. That is some really smart packaging. I appreciate that a lot. All right, sorry, there's something that's been in my eye this whole time. Sorry for making faces. <laughs> and then we've got this little bag. They try to have mostly things that you can reuse, but for some reason when they do like an extra accessory like this, they put it in one of these bags that you can recycle it, so it's fine, but they usually don't do those. Um, and here's the hat. Um, it smells so good. I love the smell of plastic. <laughs> All right, I love this is like, it's not a rubber band, it's like a stretchy elastic cord. I really appreciate that, because that's not snapping anytime soon. And it's actually like sewn in in two spots so it doesn't leave a really big ugly knot at the top. And super cute hat, this is cute. And now let's get our girl out. Sorry, my eyeball is so itchy. Um, It's interesting how much they, how much effort they put into posing them in the package, considering you can't see them. Um, but they really care about the unboxing experience, so I guess when you open it you want to see the doll in like a friendly... It's, it's cute. Um, Alright, so here she is. I love the Miku hair, um, and I love the tinsel as well. I know people really don't like tinsel. I actually have a really bad bunched up tinsel right here, but... When, when there's unruly tinsel, all you have to do is, like, rip it out, comes right out, it's not a big issue. Um, and they, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have done this on camera, because now I'm gonna have to sit here and be a perfectionist. I'm really bad at putting ponytails in, so I'm not taking this down unless it's gonna stay down permanently, and I do like it like this, um, but we'll see. Um, I believe these underwear are separate. Yeah, this is so cute. I love these little underwear. Oh, I guess they're like shorts. It's like underwear over little shorts, but I love that. So cute.
I really like these and they are going to be usable. I might cut off the purple pieces to be honest because I think these would just make a great accessory to use in pictures and stuff. Um, I don't know how to explain that. Um, here's the skirt. Oh, that's the reason. So the skirt doesn't have like a underwear built in, so that's why they included that. All right, so here's just the base of the app, or just the normal outfit itself, which is super cute. It This one rides a little lower than it should, and this one rides a little higher than it should, so you don't get the belly peep that it's supposed to have, but it's not a big deal. Um, which is really cute. Um, I want to put the jacket on, but at the same time, I like it like this, um, but we'll see. I want to put her little sunglasses, or no, never mind, she's going to have a hat. Oh, there's a belt as well. I'm I feel like maybe the hat isn't supposed to sit where I think it not the hat, the outfit. Yeah, the outfit's not supposed to belly peep. So let's put the, the belt on. I hate plastic belts are really hard to put on. But this is like it looks really good in the design. Hi Gucci. If you want in my lap, come on up. <sighs> I'm never gonna manage to get this on. Okay. See, like, imagine as a little kid, too, how hard this would be. And they always make the pegs out of this really soft plastic. Just such a chore. Yeah, okay. Well, she's just not going to get to wear the belt, and that's not my problem, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, let's do the little bolo tie, though, which is so cute. Um, it would go under the collar, right? Yeah, okay. Let me try to do that. <sighs> Sorry, guys. She's got a really um, complicated little outfit. I really like the little collar. They, it's a really cool detail that not a lot of companies will do. I'll show you in a second what I mean by the collar. Like the collared shirt. But they made, in the design, it's a bolo tie, right? So you're not supposed to be able to see the the straps of it or whatever. You're just supposed to be able to see the tie. But they made this part see-through, which it isn't in the do in the art, so you can see it, and it looks kind of funny. I don't know why they did that. But that is darling. That is the cutest accessory ever. Um, now let's put her little earrings in, which I love. They're really fun. And these are better earrings than some of the OMGs. They have, like, they're a little bit flimsier, and so they're not, like, going to snap in half super easily, but they're also not super soft, so you can just push them right in. Thank you. <laughs> um, and then let's put her little shoes and spurs on. I, I can't believe she has spurs. Says this is the right shoe. This is my left. Right? Yeah. So this goes on the other. Sorry, it doesn't look like that though. It looks like it goes on this foot. Like, does it mean right if she's facing this way? Or, because the zipper should go when you're wearing a shoe on the inside, so never mind, I was wrong. No, that looks wrong. Okay, if I were to put them in front of me, I would put them like that. Yeah, that looks right. Sorry. Had to have a brain fart for a second. Um, the spurs? How do you put them on? What? Oh, you have to put them on before you put the shoes on. My mistake. Sorry, this one has the most elaborate outfit of it out of any OMG I've opened. I love that though, they included spurs. I'm not loving that the glitter is shedding absolutely everywhere, because that means these shoes are gonna have no glitter on them in a few years. Or less time, depending. And then where would you put the spurs? They go down like that. That is such a cute detail. I love that. Shadow had chains on her shoes too. Oh, I didn't open Shadow on camera. Or actually I did, I just didn't upload the video. But um, she was a pain to put together as well. And let's put her little hat on. And then I actually like her like this without the pink jacket. So I'm going to leave the jacket off. But I do love the jacket. I just think um, it's a very busy design with everything that it has. So with the jacket, it kind of makes it a little too busy in my taste. But she is so pretty like this. And I have seen Cosmic with her hair down. And I find her absolutely adorable like that. But I know I'm never going to be able to get these pigtails back up. So... I'm not gonna take her hair down any for now. Um, I did take down Snowlicious's hair, and it, uh, why did I do that? <laughs> she is so cute. So she's actually cuter than I um, thought she was, to be honest. Like, 
Because I'd seen a lot of pictures of her not in her outfit, and I really liked those, and that's why I decided that she would come to my collection. And I've decided I want all of them. But, um, like, I really like her. She's super cute. I, I think she has such a gorgeous face, and I love the glitter um, makeup. Because a lot, not a lot of LOLs have glitter makeup. I think all the Winter Disco ones do, but I only have two of them. And I, I wrote out, if I get 24k, I'll be happy, but I'm not... If I don't get her, I'm not going to cry about it because she's, like, impossible to get. Um, but I do want to get Dolly because she's easy to get. You know, I thought the hat having an elastic cord was going to be great, but it's not staying on at all. You would think it would. If this is, like, debauch, she's going to be a pain. Oh, maybe more put the pigtails through it. Yeah, I don't know. I'll put it like that. And now it... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if they actually had shins, it would work better. But yeah, they do. But they have little pug it, faces. Yeah, they don't have a profile. That's why. It's well, I think thing. mine. The pigtails are too high up, or something, because the hat's not like snugly on her head. It's kind of being disturbed by the pigtails, which is an interesting design choice. Um, but she's super cute. She just can't lean forward at all. And I honestly don't think her design needs the hat. But I love this future Texan vibe she has. I really appreciate this one. <laughs> but we're getting it. We're getting another country music one, so we'll, we'll get more Texan vibes. I'm excited to see that one, because I don't like to look at too many pictures before I buy them. Some people people do wear hats like this, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Sorry, this was kind of a mess. Um, there will be a lot more variety. Oh, the stand is this color. Um, there will be a lot more variety in videos, like, if you've watched to the end, even though you don't want to, um, like, trust me, there will be more Wink stuff, it's just that, like, almost all my Wink dolls are in, they're being stored right now, and I don't want to get them all out, because we're moving soon, hopefully. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time, bye.